Well, it's been a bit since I've done a cooking video, but a uh, recent blog post by another wine freak about uh, butternut squash soup got me inspired to share my recipe with you. Um, I'm going to do a roasted butternut squash soup, which is super, super simple, really simple ingredients, and uh, pretty quick to make, nice and hearty. More of a fall dish, but uh, in Reno, anyway, right now it's more like fall because it's raining, it's cloudy, I haven't seen the sun for a few days, so... Really simple, like I said, just a few ingredients. We're going to start out with butternut squash. It's all cubed up. Check that out right here. Um, we've got butternut squash. We've got a medium-sized yellow onion and a few cloves of garlic. And uh, we need to roast that first to get it going for before we make the soup, before we boil it all down. <clears throat> so we're going to take that. We're going to throw a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. A couple splashes over the top like so and throw some kosher salt on there and I'm just as usual <clears throat> usual just uh, not really measuring but uh, <laughs> I'll put some measurements in the recipes there for you I kind of do it by eye so there we go salt pepper extra virgin olive oil cubed butternut squash yellow onion a few cloves of garlic it's gonna go in the oven 400 degrees takes about 25-30 minutes. We want that butternut squash to kind of start melting, get all caramelized and yummy. Um, note on the butternut squash, it's a real pain to cut. That's why I already had to cut before I started filming. No need to watch that. Really hard. Be careful. Don't cut yourself. Use a nice sharp knife and always, always cut away. So right now we've got our oven preheated and uh, we're going to throw that bad boy in there. And we'll be back soon to finish it up. Okay, so about 25 minutes roasting that butternut squash, onions and garlic. A little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper on there. Uh, 400 degrees in the oven. Let's take a look at what we got here. Grab my towel. <clears throat> you can see, I don't drop it. <clears throat> nice and caramelized. Getting nice and dark brown there. That's going to give us a lot of the sweetness that we want to get uh, to get out of that butternut squash. So, set the camera up over here. And we're going to get it in the pot and get it cooking. <clears throat> First of all, get a nice big pot. Uh, one diced up carrot. Going to add some little bit more sweetness, a little heartier vegetable flavor to it. We got our uh, seasoning mixture here. And uh, that is ground thyme, white pepper, a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of allspice, and kosher salt. And... Uh, of course, in the recipe, we're going to have the amounts there for you. And I'm going to take all that good butternut squash. We're going to kind of scrape it off here. It's going to go right into the pot. I'm going to get a better, uh, better scraping tool here in a second. So you can see how that's coming off there. It's all nice and soft already. Much of those juicy bits off there as we can. So, and then six cups of water. So what that's going to look like now we've got all of our basically all of our ingredients we're going to finish up with a little bit of a, a seasoning adjustment of course at the end but right now that guy's just going to go on high get it boiling and you can see everything all floating around in there and like i said we're going to throw that on high and we're just going to let that sit there simmer and cook down take about uh, 20 minutes or, well 25 minutes or so um and that's it so we'll be back in a few All right, we've let that uh, soup cook down for a little bit, about 25 minutes. Uh, just gave a little taste test. It's got all that good squash flavors. So we're going to turn the heat down a little bit, about to medium. And uh, we're going to add a little bit of half and half to it. We're going to let it 
chilled just a little bit or you know calm down not boiling so hard <clears throat> and then we're going to throw it in the blender because um, we want to serve it kind of like a bisque style where everything's all blended together and it's nice and creamy and it's nice and smooth textured so we've got here a little uh, heavy cream and milk so you can use either half and half or I've got right there about three quarters of a cup of cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. <clears throat> like I said, that's going to make it nice and creamy. You can see what we've got going here. And at this point, we're going to pull it off the heat and get it into the blender. Just a quick note on the blending. Since the soup's really hot still, if we fill up the blender too much, and as soon as we hit the button, all that uh, steam is going to escape from there and it's going to blow the top off. So we want to do small batches, you know, a third or half of your blender. If you happen to have an immersion or a stick blender, you can do it right in the pot and uh, that works great and saves you some, some trouble. So here we go, let's blend it up. Alright, it's all blended up now. See, it's all nice and creamy and just as thick as we want it. We want it nice and thick, should coat the spoon just like so. So now we've got that back over medium heat <clears throat> and we're going to let it uh, sim come to a simmer just basically to heat through and then we're going to go ahead and add, we're going to dish it up, we're going to top it with a little creme fraiche, a little fresh tarragon right after we adjust the seasonings and uh, there you go. Recipe here will serve four people for a uh, as a meal as a lunch or something with a little bread or a salad and about six or eight people as a starter okay so it came to a simmer it's nice and warm now tasted it added a little bit more salt I like salt so it's a touch light in the recipe but taste it before you serve it and uh, we're basically just gonna scoop that up right now here into our bowl Try not to make a mess with the drips. Like so, you can see it's nice and thick. <clears throat> and then, we're going to take a nice big spoonful of creme fraiche right on top. Kind of float that right there in the middle. A little bit of chopped fresh tarragon across the top. And there it is. That's our uh, roasted butternut squash bisque or butternut squash soup. Nice creamy. Like I said, it's a good fall dish. Um, but right now in Reno, what day is it? It's May 26th and it's uh, cloudy. It's probably going to be snowing. It's probably going to be raining tomorrow. <clears throat> and as I said earlier, the uh, inspiration for cooking this dish and sharing it with you was a uh, post I read on a wine Freak's blog about his uh, butternut squash soup and asked about a pairing, and I said it would go well with Zen. He asked me why, so tonight we're going to do this with a little uh, Holly Zinfandel from the uh, Ponzo Vineyard, Russian River Valley, Sonoma County. Um, up there in Sonoma, they put a little bit of Petite Syrah in it to add just a little bit of spice, and I think that the uh, spice from the Zen is going to pair well with the sweetness of the bisque, so that's it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Once again, recipe is written up on the blog there, so you can print it out and uh, comment here. Give me a video back, take some pictures, whatever. Let me know how it turns out. See ya.